Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Frank Lampard to try out today. Uh, guys, with Lampard in game, we are going to be trying this card out on both the Anchor and the Shadow Chemistry style, okay? Uh, he's going to be on a 6 foot height, high medium work rates, right footed, 4 star skills with a 4 star weak foot. Uh, player traits in game. He's got power free kick, long passer, long shot taker, team player. So a couple of interesting traits to work with there. In-game attributes. This is how the card is going to be formatted, right? So listen, here's the thing about him. The reason I want to try him out on both is because this is a midfielder at the end of the day, right? So on a shadow chemistry style, you're going to be making his pace a 95 for acceleration and a 91 for sprint speed. But the main thing here is being able to massively increase his defensive capabilities in certain areas of the card, right? I.e. mostly in the interceptions and the standing or the sliding tackle um, animation choices, right? On an anchor, you do boost the physicality of the card while also giving him a lengthy accelerate. But we're going to see which one works out the best for the card because I feel like a shadow could be a little bit more helpful to work with, generally speaking, because of the interceptions and all that kind of stuff, right? So, guys, with this card, either or we're going to be trying him out on the card he is going to be working with very good shooting capabilities. So we're going to be using him as our attacking oriented center mid playing in a 4-1-2-1-2 as the attacking player that plays in that right center mid role, right? Which I'm going to be doing a review for um, after these reviews today. Passing on the card is going to be in a good area. He's got a four star weak foot to work with the passing capabilities, which is a W. He's got a high medium work rate with an average body type while working with 75 for agility, 75 for balance. So that part of the card is on the lower side, but the other dribbling capabilities of the card is in the higher side when it comes to 90s for stats, right? So that could definitely be a very good W to work with. I think just like the Steven Gerrard video, uh, Steven Gerrard player view, guys, this is probably going to be a card that you have to use in a one of three midfield position, specifically playing in that right center mid area, being a card that could potentially attack and push forward, right? Because obviously, if you want a really good box to box, you'd probably have to have of someone that has a little bit more defensive stats. That could be a good high, high work rate of player, but it just depends on how you line up your team, right? So yeah, uh, defensive stats will be massively increased on a shadow, a little bit lower on the anchor. Uh, physical capabilities on the card will also be in a pretty decent area too. He's gonna, gonna, he's gonna have a 99 for stamina to work with, considering the fact that he also has an 88 for strength, 85 for jumping. A lot of very good physical variables to work with there on the card so yeah as i was saying i'll be using him in that right center mid area trying him out on the attack as well as well as the defense to see what the card is like in game hopefully he's a beast well done lampard Let's go, Lampard. Good goal, my boy. It's a defensive play there, too. Oh, I timed the green, too. Unlucky. Ah. Oh. I wanted to see if I can get out like a crazy strike there. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Let's go, Frankie boy. Well, we did pass by Lampard. Just couldn't get it off. Hey, sometimes you uh, you have certain cards that work the jam for you. Van Bastion just did a great job th there for me, so. Oh, we tried. We tried. What a pass. What a pass. 
That was a crazy pass. Oh, speed up leg. Oh, we're good. That worked out. Good stuff, boys. Way to get involved. Oh, I tried. Go back in. All rolled. Shield. Go back in again. Ah, oh, couldn't get the angle. I fake him out a little bit with that dribble. Our post. I uh, never know. Ah. Oh, I knew it too. Oh, at least I got rewarded for that one though. Oh, with the weak foot too. Oh, I knew he was going to pass it there. That's why I don't want to block that general area. Oh, the gem. I could have just got right there. If it registered my initial pass there, I would have been in a very solid position. But what a what a day. Ah, yeah, why not? Try it out. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, it's mischievous. Oh, that would have been a sick chip shot. What a pass by Lampard, by the way. That was really nice. Let's go. Good build up, boys. Good build up. Lampard. Lampard. Oh, free kick. Let's go. Frankie boy Lampard on that free kick tactic, boys. Ah, couldn't get it off. Ooh. No. The challenge. Nice, boys. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. I like the build-up. I like the build-up. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Frank Lampard card. So, guys, um, I think EA... You know, their gameplay is sus. It is sus, right? But I think EA did a, like the content guys, they did a pretty decent job at making Steven Gerrard and Lampard usable players in the game while also making them the lower pack weights of some of the Trophy Titan cards that you can get, right? Because Lampard genuinely performs pretty good in game as long as I'm using him in the right ways, right? So again, in my case, I was using him in that right center mid position, trying him out as my attacking oriented center mid. For me personally, right? I actually would not mind going with the midfield trio with Lampard and Steven Gerrard in the same team. Because what I would do, right, is Steven Gerrard would be played in the left center mid area. Lampard would be played in the right center mid area because Steven Gerrard has the five-star weak foot. And then if I wanted to switch them in game whenever I wanted to, I would be able to do that anyways. Uh, with Frank Lampard, guys, honestly, you wouldn't be wrong to give him a shadow and you wouldn't be wrong to give him an anchor. The thing that I will mention, right, is that on a shadow chemistry style, the card still runs on the pitch really, really well. I didn't feel like I had to give him the lengthy for him to run across the pitch really well. Like he, he for the most part, as the attacking oriented player, he did a really good job for me to get into the right areas at the right time to score some opportunities. And he does actually get quite involved in the attacking areas, just like the Steven Gerrard card does, to be fair, because his shooting stats are so high, right? So because he has the high medium work rate, 
that just makes him more attacking oriented. So using this card to actually push forward is not a nuisance to work with because of the fact that his shooting stats are so high to work with to begin with, right? So on a Shadow Chemistry style, I feel like boosting the pace to have higher acceleration for those quick little movements when you're defending in general, as well as boosting the two main areas of slide tackles as well as interceptions, interceptions mainly, the Shadow Chemistry style for me worked out best. But you wouldn't be wrong to also give him an Anchor Chemistry style because the lengthy on a balanced instruction playing as your center mid wouldn't be horrible to work with either on that push forward comeback instruction. So this is probably one of the first times that EA have made Lampard and Gerrard cards that can be usable in the meta of the game and actually do work for you. Like there are so many different situations where, you know, if I would do if I were to do a defensive player Lampard, he would do a good job. His passes came off really well, whether that was the weak foot or the strong foot, they came off very well. Obviously, the main thing you're going to have to work with from time to time, especially if your game plays off the part, is going to be agility and balance at a 75-75. But honestly, it didn't really feel like it was that big of a nuisance because when it came to attacking capabilities, I just need him to get into that one spot for him to shoot right away. That's what it really comes down to, right? So um, definitely very solid cards. I enjoyed using them for what they were. Um, definitely cards that you can use in the meta of the gameplay, just as long as you're using them properly, in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.